Hello everybody, welcome back to my um, Super Paper Mario Let's Play. Um, um, last episode we pretty much started the game, which all just being game cutscenes, and now we're going to um, go meet the Foot Blizzard, Bestovius, and play the first true level of the game. What? Well, the void's been ripped into dimensional fabric. Yes, Count Black is pleased, all young foretold in the dark Parnassus. Now it's just a matter of time until all worlds meet their demise. Black! Wow, that's the super count. You have first you race all those naughty worlds. Then you're going to build up a perfect world without any icky stuff. Yes, no one likes icky stuff. Yes, the perfect world sounds magical. Ah ha ha, I can hardly send the weight. Sorry I'm late. I'm blazing ball grass, how to make myself here, what's going on? Me, 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 oh, Chunks, a big silly, does that oversleep or something? This is kind of hard to on time, though, whenever you got muscles and have brains. Hey! Yeah, I can't fool me about that crazy sh ape shift in Hungamori. Hulganary, isn't it, Mimi, ain't it? Show a little respect for your count. You go borrow a face, lass. Blech! I'd like for Mimi almost as dapper as Kumpelik. Oh golly, thank you, Count. If you around with nothing but big smiles all the time. Hang out with the Count, that's my idea of a perfect world. And here I thought Mimi's ideal world was a gym filled pool of funky lifeguards. Hey, Dementio, if you didn't read my diary, I mean, never mind. <laughs> well, different strokes for different minions. After these rotten worlds are ended, Count Black will make all your dreams come true. But for that to happen, we must follow the instructions of the Dark Prognosticus. You just felt that. On FYI, I got an urgent memento for you in your mailbox. A bit better. Yeah, about those. Yep, room box. Apparently, there's been some unproved interdimensional activity lately. Yeah, I'm thinking I see here of the frosty. We're gonna need an action plan for this guy. A dimensional interloper. A possible hero. You should have it, not this guy. Interesting news. Count Black must put into this nuisance. Count Black. Let me get destroyed, Brayden. Ain't no natures going on about it. Here, you're in me. Then you gotta cut me loose. Um, yeah. I can't speak this guy's language. His name's O-Chunks. Very well, Chunks. I'll lose you here. Chunking you. Do not fail, Count Black. Yep. Yeah, you sure will. Mimi Dementio, you should tag along. Yeah, you witness the proper chunking. Hmm, I do enjoy your chunking. Well, then I believe I'll head on as well. Boy, ha ha, so here are you to fight down Black and hurry for a world that ends draw near. Boy, ha ha, Black. Mario's called from one stage of the world is no small task. Could you print Cow Black from pulling off a sensor plot? Put Mario and I are Princess Peach. A true intermissional adventure is about to begin. Chapter 1-1, one, one. The Adventure Unfolds. <laughs> this is my favorite P Paper Mario game, I've got to say. It's good as the uh, N64 and GameCube ones were. Um, I always just think this one's got the most interesting gameplay. Not pure heart, but so far from here. Now I'm just fine as friend so he's learning to enter dimensional technique, we better go find him. Yep. One more thing. If you don't want to learn about anything, just use my power. I know about many things. Yep. Yep. Where that is. 
Lylin Road. There's the end gate. Squirt, I'm pretty sure. I squiggle it. No. That's, this is pretty much your, um, Goombella and, um, oh, Goom, Goombella and the other person. And a person from the original Mario 60, or Mario, shoot. Paper Mario 64. Um, and um, they're the one that. Keepy's pretty much the same thing that um, Tattles in those games. It lets you know about their HP and all of that interesting stuff. Yep. That made no sense at all, but why not? Not an empty house or something is wrong. Good, I can help you find hidden things while I use my power to look around. This is a part of the game I really don't like too much. Is just this. Oh, use this power. It's a cool game mechanic, but there's a lot more interesting pixels once you get farther in. Hmm. Pistovius, the folk wizard. This uh, mean your mustache just stands before me. And how's it have the idea to address my multicolored glory? How these flimsy whiskers to take my secret door? Way right there at church, this conspicuous white gloves junky cap. Aha, you are garbed in the word cloth of the hero of prophecy. You must be the great hero! Impersonator! What a costume you look like you leap out the pages of the Parnassus. This is Mario. He's dressed like this because he is a hero. Merlin told us to find you. Merlin, only his full-bodied, bearded rivals would be my hairy magnificence. Merlin thinks you are a true hero. You probably are, I think. Well, then, as the ancient prophecy foretells. I'm so so Dimensional flipping, yay. For, uh, yeah. 10,000 coins. That's preposterous. You can't charge teach hero of the prophecy. Why not the only great and splendid Pistovius to certain extenders? Why should he ever get the world to live and do him on a garnished platter? These heroes think they can get away of shaking people down with her free skill. A mere ten dozen coins would be nothing for a hero of the universe. What do you say? Yes. Yeah. No. Yep. I will take that for free. That's the worst deal that you can get. Fimdy from Dimdy Flume, diggity diggity doom, is a diggity doom. Shaboom! The bow! We got the interdimensional flip ability. Yep. Ah. Press A to slip through the fabric of 2D and 3D. Well, what do you think? Mind blowing, isn't it? What is this Ash Pico? Um, I don't quite know what the A is myself, so you lose HP. I forgot about that mechanic. But no, hope you enjoy the social drop. Runs up, it starts to take damage. So put back, put back two D and yep, so. So, uh, I think that's all Pistuvius says how. Maybe not. Nope, it sure isn't. Got a little fire. Fire burst!
Yeah, I remember these little 8 bit Mario's and. This is a pipe, interesting. Shrimp shake. Can't ever complain about that. I did not, I forgot you could pull foot bind things like that. But oh, whenever we played a game for a few years, something always comes and happens. Um, as always in these episodes, um, if you think I should fix something, um, let me know, put a question in the comments or anything, and, um, I'll get back to you, um, always how it should be. Same pipe. I guess that one in the front may have been the one we're actually looking for. Nope, both same exact pipe. Can I reach you again and see if you secrets? Nope, no secrets there. What I like about this game, they can hide secrets anywhere. With their art style they went with, with the dimensional flip mechanic. Like I said, I always liked this game. 2D, 3D. Oh, the enemies earn points. Yep, level up. Um, my plan for a series may be, um, a, what's it called, an episode, um, like a world an episode, so let's say we do one one this episode. In our car. Like I said, this is a very good game. Um, not really, not really anything much I would say here. Oh, these are coin flowers, I'm pretty sure. Crap, the coins are right now. Plastic staircase in most one on one games. Oh. 
drawings. See, all two. Or we could just not if you know what I'm saying. We can get more 8-bit Mario's. Except there could be something potentially good up there. No, nothing cool. 